Hi, I'm Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, and I provide um, education and commentary on sports and exercise injuries and injury treatments and injury prevention, health and wellness for athletes and active people, probably much like you, uh, so that you can stay healthy and perform your best. And probably the most common question I get online, be it on my podcast or website or in comments on Twitter or Facebook, is this question of do I need to see a doctor after an injury? And this question in today's Ask Dr. Geyer video specifically deals with a knee injury, but it's a very very common question. At what point should you consider seeing a doctor after your injury? Now again, this is not meant for specific medical advice. This is really for general information and education. But this principle, I think, is one that's very important. So let me read you uh, that question. Okay, so Ashley asks, Dr. Geyer, I was on a trampoline three weeks ago and I landed wrong. I heard a loud pop followed by shooting pain. I waited to go to the doctor until last week where they did an x-ray and said I may have overstretched it. A week later, I'm still experiencing shooting pain in certain movements and I can't fully straighten it out without feeling like something's in the way. Should I go back to the doctor or wait this out? Well, that's a terrific question, Ashley, and I appreciate you sending it. Again, this is not specific advice, but I've got a couple thoughts. First, uh, I want to get to a very, very key point about whether or not you should see a doctor in general. And there's different ways to look at this, but the rule of thumb I use is not whether or not it's been a week or whether or not it's been six weeks or it's been six months. Basically, what I look for is whether or not you, whether or not an athlete, an active person, young athlete, doesn't really matter, whether or not you can do what you want to do as well as you want to do it. If you're a runner and running on flat hills doesn't bother you, but running uphill bothers you with you know pain in the front of your knee, so you can't run as well as you'd like and you can't train for a race, I think it's worthwhile to go get it checked out. You could be a you know a pitcher, like a baseball pitcher, and you have no shoulder pain normally. But when you start to come through in this late cocking, early acceleration phase of throwing, you have this shoulder clicking and it really limits your ability to locate your pitches and you lose some velocity, I think that's a pretty good reason to get it checked out. There's all sorts of manifestations. You can do your normal activities, but if you can't do what you want to do as well as you want to do it, I think it's worthwhile to go see a doctor. Now I think that uh, what Ashley gets at is a very common thing. You hurt your knee, but you, you might ice it, you might take some anti-inflammatory medications and avoid activity and see how you do over the next couple days. And generally I don't think that that's a real big deal. But the question gets to, you know, at what point do I decide, hey, this isn't getting better? So I think there's a number of reasons. There's a, a post on my website, uh, Seven Signs That Your Knee Injury Is Serious, and there's things that I think are certainly worrisome uh, that might make you go get it checked out sooner. Symptoms such like your knee gives out on you. You go to plant your foot and change direction, and your, your knee buckles. Your tibia shifts out from under your femur. Or your knee gets stuck in a certain position, like you can't bend it all the way back because it catches on something, or you can't straighten it all the way out because you feel like something's blocking your knee or you feel like something's stuck in there but you can kind of twist your knee and get past it and then you have full motion. We call that catching as, a, as opposed to the full locking. That sounds like what Ashley describes. Again, I haven't seen her or examined her so I don't know but that certainly sounds like uh, locking or catching. You know, significant swelling, you know, a lot of trouble going up and down the stairs. There's a number of symptoms that I think are worrisome uh, that may make you go see an orthopedic surgeon sooner to make sure you don't have an injury that potentially could require surgery. But I think the big point is, you know, if you have a symptom that limits your ability to do what you want to do as well as you want to do it, it's always a good idea to get it checked out. Yes, it may come back that you don't have a bad injury, but that's reassuring to know that you're not doing any harm to it. And then obviously if it does show something potentially bad, you can work it up. You know, maybe x-rays or an MRI, uh, even a course of physical therapy to try uh, before potentially you need surgery, but sometimes that can be uh, good to know sooner rather than later so you don't make the injury worse. I hope this, this uh, question, this answer was helpful to you. If you have other questions like this, definitely send those my way. Go to my website. Uh, there's a contact form. You can send those to me and maybe I can answer your question on an upcoming Ask Dr. Geyer video. Again, please remember I can't give specific medical advice, but I hope this information is helpful in a general educational sense. Now, if you like videos like this and uh, want other videos like this, I, I tend to record videos once or twice a week on injuries, injury treatment, injury prevention. So so go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. You'll get these delivered directly to you once or twice a week. You can also see them uh, on my website as well.
If you know people that have had a knee injury and wonder if they should go see a doctor, share this video with them. I'd be really appreciative if you do that, and I think they'll appreciate getting this information as well. Now, if you want more resources on staying healthy and performing your best that I only share uh, with you by email, go to my website, drdavidgeyer.com, and you can sign up. It's completely free. You'll get a free copy of my ebook, The Year of the Healthy Athlete, which is a collection of injury prevention tips for athletes in team sports, individual athletes, adults, kids. It's really helpful. Plus, you'll get resources I only share uh, through my email list. So go there and sign up for free. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful to you. Remember, submit your questions. If you've got a bone or joint injury in sports and exercise, I'd love to answer those. And until next time, I'll see you right here. Thank you so much.